Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to the Gaming Zone with Chris Chrome. And today we're talking about Age of Wonders 3, GTA 5 Editor, Xbox One backwards full compatibility, and the Pokémon Tournament. Cha! Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. I'm Chris Chrome and this is the Gaming Zone where I talk about the top stories of the week. And this week we're going to be talking about Age of Wonders 3 mod support, uh, the Pokémon Tournament, um, Xbox One full backwards compatibility, and GTA 5 editor. And while I talk about this, I got a gameplay going so you can watch that. And this week I'm playing Dying Light. So you can watch that and enjoy watching that while just listening to me. So let's get to it. So, Age of Wonders 3. Now, uh, it's going to be having full mod support soon, which will allow you to overhaul game balancing, add new speciali specialization, and even brand new units. So you make your own guy that's pretty cool they showed uh, a picture of like a, it was like a skeleton knight with a reaper uh, it had a scythe i mean a scythe he was running on a horse and cheat it was kind of cool so uh they could be used in multiplayer as well so when you play with other people it's kind of cool but you can't change some of the core gameplay the textures and some of the models that are already built in you can't change that but Hey, whatever. I mean, that'd be cool. You can make your own, make make your own characters, your own army of units and shit. It's kind of cool. Have a whole bunch of like zombies or skeletons or uh, Spartans. Even though they probably already have that in Age of Wonders, but you know what I mean, like anything. So that's kind of cool. Um, I think I played. Which one did I play? I played Age of Wonders. Which one was it? It might have been the very first one, actually. The first one or second one? PC. It was a fun game. I definitely enjoyed it. It was pretty cool. Um, I did only play like the free demo of it, but it, I mean you still got a lot in the free demo I mean you, whole, you got like a whole map you got a whole bunch of fucking characters you can be in, in maps and shit So you get to play the game. It was fun. It was good. Anyways, so that's the first story next one We got a Nintendo announced the Pokémon tournament <sighs> You yeah. so that's kind of cool. It's gonna be on the Wii U next spring um, and if you don't know what Pokémon is, where the hell you been, man? Where you been? So it's, it's a mixture between Pokémon and Tekken. So you play like uh, the po like they're Pokémon, but they fight. It's like open. Uh, how do I explain it? Uh, it's it's just like a fighting game, but it's more open. Whereas you know you got Tekken, it's like like flat flat screen, and you fight. Well, this is more like Dragon Ball Z, where like Xenoverse, where it's like a big circle and you can move around 3D wise and shit, and it's really cool. It's just like a m really big fighting game. You could they have a trailer out for the Pokémon Tournament? Check it out. They showed off Pikachu, Lucario, Blaziken, Gengar, Machamp. Um, oh, what's his name? Suicune? Suicune? No. Maybe that's his name. Remember, they have a few Pokemon that they showed off. Definitely gonna be more. It looks like a really cool game. So I'm kind of excited to see it. See how what it's all about when it comes out. Um, I don't have a Wii U. But, but it was said that that game isn't a Nintendo exclusive. It was just brought on the Wii U because it's made by Bandai Namco. And they have games on a few platforms, so it might not be Nintendo exclusive. But then again, it is Pokemon, and Pokemon has only ever been on a Nintendo console. So we'll see how that goes. So it'll probably stay Nintendo, but here's hoping. Here's hoping. So because I'd rather play it on, you know, PS4, or Xbox One, but whatever. So yeah. So if you want to go check it out, like I said, there's a trailer. And yeah, it'll be out next spring. Um, next one is the GTA 5 editor. 
Uh, it should be out on the next GTA 5 patch. Um, but it will not be for last gen console, PS3 and Xbox 360. It sucks, but it happens. Probably not enough room or whatever. Not enough. And if you're not sure what it is, it's basically like an in house movie maker. And they already have it on the PC version, but this will be for the console specifically. So it'll just add like a whole new, you know, movie motion thing so you can make really cool GTA 5 movies. So, um,. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. I like GTA. It was a fun game when I played it. Even though I don't have a PS4, I only have a PS3. If I had people to play games with, I probably would get a PS4 and we could play. But, you know, I don't. So, whatever. Played on PS3. It was fun. It was definitely the uh, best GTA I've ever played. So, they did kind of talk about GTA 6. That it might just be online. Like, yeah, GTA 6 online. But it'll be in, like, Las Vegas or Miami or something. But... I mean, there hasn't really been anything else on that one, but yeah. So G, ooh, excuse me. So GTA Five movie editor will be out on the next patch. They haven't talked about a uh, release date yet, but it'll be soon, very very soon. Because you know they're very good with their patches, very fre frequent. So guaranteed, probably within we're almost done August. I'd probably say September. Guarantee in September it'll be out. You start doing that shit. Watch for some of those. My last story of the week is the Xbox One backwards compatibility. Now some of you already know, guarantee a lot of you know about the 360 backwards compatibility that they're trying to implement and get all those games going. But, but there was also talk of having the original Xbox games being compatible as well. Now they're pretty much just focusing on trying to get the 360 games perfect on it so it doesn't come out too bad because they don't want to do they don't want to be all over the place so you want to get the 360 going make sure those are all good on the xbox one and then might start doing just xbox games which i think is cool because that would actually be good for me because as you know on my channel i'm trying to play the games throughout all the ages i don't have an xbox which i'll probably buy at some point regardless but it'd make it a lot easier to record with if they did backwards compatibility on the Xbox One because then I can just use an HD cable instead of uh, the audio output cables and shit. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So that's it for the gaming zone this week. If you want to check out some of these stories, go ahead. Age of Wonders 3 mods, the Pokémon Tournament, GTA 5 Editor, and Xbox One, Xbox full compatibility. I don't know what else to call it, but that's it. So if you guys liked the video, if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of these stories and my videos. And you know, make sure to check out some other stuff too. You know what you got to do? You know how to do it. See you guys next week. Cherry, I believe, of this year. So, but... um. This one might not come out until 2017 because Resident Evil Zero Remake is supposed to come out next year.